Coach, thoughts for today's game? Thanks for coming. Uh, I don't want to take for granted a big win over uh, uh, Troy. We all know Troy's history. Last year, what they did, I have a lot of respect for Larry and his staff. I've known Larry for a long time, and uh, I didn't see that one coming. Uh, I saw the way that game started, and thank God for great defense and good kicking game. But that's, uh, that's, we, we've won a lot of games around here like that. Their defense played a whole different style of defense than we're used to seeing on film. And I thought Coach Adazio and uh, staff did a nice job adjusting because it was completely different. Uh, the obvious concerns are three times, I believe it was three, and the three up to the top of my head that uh, we don't do that here, uh, lay the ball on the ground, so we just got to fix it, but we got to move on, and we will. Uh, but uh, I'll tell you, I thought our running backs ran real hard. I thought Chris Rainey was tremendous tonight. And uh, the offensive line, we're, we're as good as our offensive line right now. They're playing, playing at a pretty high, high rate of uh, efficiency. Uh, but defense is the name of the game today. And that defense was dominating. And uh, we, we played a lot of three down, uh, a lot of three down hot package, which we didn't show the first week. And, and if you can get both three and four down playing at the kind of level that we played today, you got a chance to be pretty good. Uh, and with that, I'll answer your question. Ronnie, Coach, you talk about your, your second quarter. Was that as good a quarter as you've had here, 28 of? Yeah, I can't really. It's, it's all kind of blurred right now. But I, I just kept the, the, I can't remember how many turnovers we had created on defense in that second quarter, but it kept, you know, Janoris Jenkins, and I believe there's a fumble. We're playing a short field, and, and uh, we really followed that play. I mean, I mean, those kids are really buying into that, you know, the, the things that happened on the two turnovers. You know, Brandon Spikes just said something. It's what we do, and you, you probably hear that around here, but he talked about a turnover, sudden change, like the block, we go after a block punt in the national championship game. What happens? The defense just goes out and plays. They don't complain. They don't whine. They just go play what we do. And uh, that was the big part of the second quarter, that defense is domination. Friends, Coach, you talk about Riley Cooper once again. You even ran him on a wow. jet sweep, which we hadn't seen before. Well, I mean, he's uh, he's playing at a number, different level. Uh, one that we all thought he could, one that he probably never has. And, I mean, that's, and you only see how, and I'm sure you saw, you couldn't miss the touchdown run, I believe, with Jeff Damps, and he did it again. You know, got a buck, we're going to buckle his helmet a little tighter, I guess. But, he just is after people like uh, Cobra down the field, and uh, he's, he's playing very well. He's the top of his game. How many catches did he have? 532, so it's 10 and 2 games, I believe, right? Yeah. Good for him. Pat, the back to the right. Urban, uh, in the first quarter, he had 73 yards, turnovers, it was pouring. Um, it, it, can you just talk about how you felt during that quarter? Yeah, I, you know, I'm one of those negative guys a lot on the field at the same time. And then the speed at the defensive end, that's hard to block. And it's a pressure-oriented package. A lot of, a lot of blitzes out of it. Edward and then Andrew. Edward, first, can you just talk about putting Justin inside of those tackles and how you think he did today? Great. Uh, I don't know how he did today. I think he, you know, I know he's one of our better players, and he's a guy that moves very well. And uh, I'll let you know on, on tomorrow's conference call. But I, Typical justice, I'm sure he played as hard as he can to grade out a champion. That's, that's kind of what he does each week. And Deontay Thompson? Yeah, it was good to see him catch that uh, touchdown pass. He needed that. Uh, I think he dropped one early to square in. And Deontay's a great kid. We know we are not, uh, no one's lost confidence in Deontay Thompson here at Florida. I can promise you that. That's a product of uh, hard work. He'll fight right through that and had a couple drops in front of 95,000. <laughs> right. I love Deontay Thompson. No, there's nothing wrong with that. Andrew? I have to ask the obligatory Tennessee question. Obviously, it's the next game. Did you say anything to the team um, oh, just yeah. now? And uh, will they use what Lane Kiffin did in the offseason as extra motivation looking ahead? I don't. I think that the fact that Tennessee is the third Saturday uh, of the season, and so uh, I've learned that. You know, I came in uh, with my eyes wide, uh, wide open and, and kind of just threw all some bang. You're playing Tennessee in the SEC East. Uh, and I know the tradition of it very well. I know our players uh, take it very serious. Rival rivalry week at Florida is special. And I did talk to our players about that. Uh, I talked to our young players because they never experienced or witnessed it. And a lot of our guys said the season starts tomorrow. You know, I, I didn't say that. The players said that.